So I'm in Aurora, Oregon today doing some antiquing. I actually came down here because I was meeting one of you guys who bought a painting from me. So thank you. And decided to do some, of course, antiquing while I'm here because it's a great place to shop. So the first stop is the South End Antique Mall. So this is actually a pretty good price, $125 for a very big filing cabinet. Now I usually sell these, the smaller ones that are like the side-by-sides for close to $400. And then there's this huge one, also very cool, for $150. So you may have to pick, oh gosh, you have to pick these up. I just, they're so heavy to ship them. That's one of the reasons why they're so expensive is because they're just really heavy to ship. Love this horse piece of art. So it's $22.50 and it has, I actually like the green mat. I absolutely love this tray. I don't think it's Florentine because it's not in that style and it doesn't seem to have any markings on the back and the shape is a little unique. It is hand painted and really, really pretty. So if you guys know anything about it, let me know in the comments. Here's a great large box and it is only 25 in really good shape. And you guys know me in boxes, so may have to get this one. So this vendor always has really good pricing in this mall. And I've got many pieces of art and I really love this one of the cherries. Look at it. It is so rustic and good. And 22. I may have to get that because the size is so unique. I think I may get this for me. It is a jewelry, probably actually originally for like cufflinks or something. But I always need something to put my jewelry in when I travel with. And I kind of like the idea of a brass organizer. So I think this is going to get this for me. So this is what the inside looks like. So obviously I need to do some vacuuming and cleaning out but very handy to have the two tiers so i like these frames that are on a stand and they're painted silver so obviously i don't like that i'd have to repaint them gold because they have more artwork that would go in gold but i'm always looking for interesting frames for all the loose pieces that i have and these ones range from like 750 to like 10 bucks so I just got to decide if I actually am going to paint them because you guys know me. I don't love an art project, but these frames I think are just like really too good to pass up. I also just found this really pretty folk art painted cross. It's three bucks, so I'm definitely going to get this. Love this stool. Wow, look at the sides of it. I don't know if you guys heard my mom in the background going, oh, that's awesome. It really is a stunning stool. So this little bamboo purse or basket is so cute. I have never seen bamboo in this pattern before. It's 20 bucks. Oh, I'm really in love with it. Like on a shelf, it would look insane. I mean, it's supposed to be, well, the vendor says it's a purse. I don't think it's probably useful as a purse because it's gonna be too fragile, but on a shelf to decorate with, that is a very cool piece. Just found this box. It is 15 and I love the little feet and the little medallion in the center. And then when you open it up, it actually has a mirror inside with some gold. So I think I'm gonna get it because you guys know me in a box. I am powerless against them. Okay, so my mom and I really like this painting here. Look at this floral. Look at the framing in this cool pattern. And then this piece up here, it's a very moody seascape. We're just not sure about the frame. It's actually coming off more muted, antique than it is in real life. It's definitely a little bit punchier. So I feel like I'd have to do something to the frame maybe. I don't know. And then this piece is in a wood frame. But I think it's just a really interesting mountain scene. And this is very much like what you see in Oregon in the winter time. So, And they're all around the same price. They're so like 29 I think. And then this one is 26. So I think this is going to come home with either me or my mom for sure. And then debating these two. So you guys have told me and suggested that I need more art glass in my booth space and just pick it up in general. And I really do like this piece. I think it's very interesting. It's 10 bucks. It's actually signed on the bottom. So I think I'm going to get it. 
Okay, I'm liking that shelf a lot. It's 20 bucks. It's really good. I love all the different shapes and curves. It's just a really interesting piece. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get that down. So this booth has a lot of stuff that I want, but a little outside my budget. So this very fine needle point is 38. And then I do kind of want to pick up this bamboo stand because you guys know me in stands, it's 55. So still within the price point to have some margin, but I don't know. I have another big piece I'm planning to get here. One of those organizers, the oak organizers, but a lot of really good boxes, <laughs> of course. And actually I have had that one and sold it before. And then I really like this handmade one is really pretty, but it's 24. So outside my budget, but a lot of great stuff. A lot of really great pieces, a lot of great brass wood. I do really like the, I think these are buckins maybe. And I definitely like these mid-century candle holders. So you guys who have watched me for a while know that I shop for all sorts of different buyers, people that like country and cottage core, like this stuff and primitives. And then also of course the people that like the mid-century and eclectic. So that's why I really like going to antique malls that specialize in like one specific thing because then I can go shop for that buyer and it's really fun for me. These unframed tapestries are really cool. They're $10 each. And the problem is like finding an actual frame to fit this size because otherwise you're like taking away some of the scene. And I know you guys do not like when I modify art. <laughs> and so, um, so yeah, I think it's probably not a project I wanna take on, but they are really cool looking. So my mom just pointed this out. It's a silver teapot that someone painted to look like a pumpkin, which is so cute because they are a dime a dozen at thrift stores. And I think this is a really cute upcycling idea. This little pillbox is so cute. Oh my goodness. $6. Oh my goodness. I love the brass. It's very cute. I also like this. I think it was, yeah, 17. But it's a really, really pretty inlay box. And then this onyx box is incredible too and i actually got a very cool onyx box when i was in belgium that i got for a steal so i can't wait to put that in my etsy shop okay you guys that was a success or a little too good because i spent i think over 200 dollars. but i got some great stuff many of the pieces will definitely pay for this haul and beyond that in terms of margin so very excited so next up i think is a snack because you guys know me i can't shop unless i am well fed and then more antique malls Okay, here are the snacks I just picked up, which are pretty decadent. So I don't know if you guys know this, but I am gluten-free. And so anytime I can go to this gluten-free bakery in Aurora, I always do. So this is a Marionberry uh, muffin, the one right here. And then over here is a pumpkin whoopie pie with Nutella. Oh my goodness. I am going to pass out from a food coma, but it's going to be worth it. So I just found the cutest little like antique shop, vintage shop. It is teeny tiny and it's filled to the ceiling and down below like my favorite type of shopping. I found some really cute needle points. So really excited about that. I'll give you the information on the screen because she's only been here six months, which is why I've never shopped her before. So really excited about this cute little spot. Walking into stop number two, which is the Main Street Mercantile. So this place has proper antiques and owning a piece like this would scare me to death because look at how skinny this is. Like this could easily bust off, my goodness, but it's a very, very cool, very sculptural piece. You guys know me in florals. This cutie pie is, what is it from? Well, 2014, so not that old. $12.95. I feel like a different frame would make it look a little bit better. I don't really love the light wood, but it is a really cute piece. And then I also, of course, like this framed needle point, but it is 28, so a little outside of my margins, but it is a really pretty piece. Some adorable Kakeshi dolls. I mean, how cute are they? Especially like this one. She is so adorable. 
I love her little face and her outfit is just so cute. And then I also like this one because it's really unique. So they're more than my budget, so I won't be getting any. I did have someone reach out to me on Instagram saying that they were just in Europe and there was a booth dedicated to Kakeshi's and everything was 10 euro. And I was like, I wish they wouldn't have told me it, frankly, because I was so jealous. And these are really beautiful. They're glass. I have never seen blue like this before. I'm surprised I've never come across these. So they are, it's like 26 each. Really interesting pieces. I'm gonna have to keep these on my list of things to look for now. So this booth is 50% off and of course I can find almost nothing, which is usually how it goes when the booth is discounted. These are pretty, they're 750 for the pair. They're just really lightweight and flimsy. So I don't know if they're even worth 750. This is a really beautiful Mary statue carved in wood outside my budget but wow such a beautiful piece so this duck is actually a shoehorn and my in-laws are the only people i've ever met in my life that actively use a shoehorn i had never thought people used them anymore and then i met them that's not true okay well my mom says she apparently used do you use one your grandpa well okay yes i'm talking about people who are alive <laughs> The only people living that I know that use a shoehorn are my in-laws. I'm tempted to buy this one for them because this is a pretty cool piece. I really love these heart-shaped boxes. I like how they did it raised in the center and of course like the two tones of the wood. They're very pretty. I'm picking up more heart stuff even though I don't love heart stuff because it actually is selling. Saw some lovely things in that last stop but ultimately left empty-handed. So hopefully we find some more stuff in the next shops. mom has lost her mind over this gallery wall. She just said she wants to throw everything out and just decorate around this gallery wall because it's really good. It's all really cool seascape paint by numbers with the exception of that cat. But this kitty is also really cute. Is that, let's see, I think it's only 20. If it's I 20, I think I may have to get it, mom. No, I already did. Okay, well, geez. she claims stuff as soon as I say I want it. That's how yeah. that goes. <laughs> what are you holding? I'm really stoked, stoked about that, that gallery picture. wall. Oh my goodness, you guys. This stopped me in my tracks. It is a snail table. It's 225. Oh my god. I might pass out, it's so cute. You guys, a snail's on my list. It's on my list of things to find. Oh, I want it so bad. But do I need to drop that much money on a wicker animal considering how many I already own? But it's so cute. So I may ask them if the vendor would do a little bit of a discount on it. Okay, so I'm doing the reseller math in my head. So that one piece that I picked up today that I could sell for maybe $400 would cover that snail. So, oh, I want them so bad. Okay, so they said they would give me a discount and while it's still more than I should buy in a wicker animal, it's just so cute. So it's coming home with me today. Okay, we're back home in my studio space. I can't believe I got another wicker animal. Now I know you guys are probably like, you're really surprised, but I had no intention of buying an expensive worker animal today, but when you just find the bucket list item, you have to grab it. I mean, it's absolutely adorable. It's largely in pristine condition because these break very easily because you know they're wicker so they're brittle and they're old and so that makes them extra fragile and so I'm just so excited because I have wanted a snail for the longest time and I have never found one in my price point. And frankly, this was definitely more than I ever wanted to spend, but I was just like, you know what? I'm in the moment. I'm just gonna grab it. Cause what if I never find one again? I would be so mad. And so I don't know if I'm gonna put it up on my shelf where I have all my wicker animals. Well, not all of them, the majority of them, or if I'm gonna put it somewhere else in my house. The problem is I live with, you know, like a six year old and I don't want one of his toys to bust up one of the cute little antenna that it has. So TBD on where it's gonna go, but I cannot believe I found that, I'm so excited. So I think the best part about today's haul is that I have so much art to show you, which is my very favorite thing. 
And this beautiful floral, my mom actually let me have. Now, she kind of wanted it, but then she's like, oh, I don't know. And so she let me have it. Thank you, Mom. Bless your heart. And so this piece I thought was just phenomenal when I saw it, just like my mom, because look at the framing and all the detail. I mean, look at that inside and then this texturing and then this frame. I mean, it's like three layers of visual interest before you even get to the actual floral painting. So I just about went crazy over it. It wasn't super cheap. It was 26, which frankly is not that terrible, but I just thought it was such a special piece and especially the frame was so unique, I had to get it. So yeah, this will be available for you guys on Etsy. So almost everything that I picked up today will be available on Etsy. So anything that is listed is usually linked down below in the description box. So another piece of art, which I can't remember if I showed you on my footage, is just very long seascape. Now you guys saw me pass on a seascape recently in one of my videos. It was at Goodwill and the colors were just not right about it where I really like these colors. I thought it was really great. And I also like the fact that it's really long, which, you know, is a bit unusual. Anytime I can find unusual art, especially long art, it just fills a very specific need in your like gallery wall or in your home. So I always pick them up because people are always looking for this type in the style. So I thought this was really great. This was probably going to my booth space. I don't want to ship it out because it is so long it's just gonna be really expensive so i think it'll do well in my booth just because you know we have the coast here in oregon and people are very interested in seascapes looks very much like this so speaking of long pieces of art i also got this awesome moody piece i just thought this was incredible this is one of the first things that i picked up loved of course the length like i said i love the fact that it has these deep deep moody saturated colors and the fact that it's berries it is so cute there's a little bit of wear right here in the painting, which I don't think is a huge deal, just because, you know, when you're buying pieces like this, you kind of accept the wear and patina as kind of the part of the charm. So yeah, I thought this was really, really awesome. I love Moody Art. I pick up a lot of Moody Art. Moody Art definitely sells well, I think, because, you know, most of the time you're finding something that's a little bit more, you know, punchy versus something like this that has like the darker vibe. So yeah, very excited about this piece and this will be available on Etsy. Shelves, wall organizers, anything that you can display and organize things with is something that sells always for me. And this shelf I saw from across the way and I was looking at the booth space and I was like, oh my God, that is so sculpturally interesting. I mean, look at all of the cutouts and shapes. The color of it is really good. It's extremely sturdy. It is handcrafted. It has the info on the back which you guys know i love when pieces like this have like the person who made them it's in great shape largely undamaged thought it was just a phenomenal piece very excited about this it's just a, the perfect wall shelf so yeah very excited to get this listed i think it's going to do well and yeah anytime i can find pieces like this it's a big win okay so we're gonna pause on the wall art and i'll show you this cute basket the other basket thing i bought for myself today which knowing that i was going to get the other one in a few hours after I got this one, I was like, ooh, should I have purchased this one? How many presents am I supposed to buy myself in any one day? But I thought this was really great. I love how it almost reminds me of like the tortoiseshell bamboo stands just because of the way the pattern is, not because of the bamboo itself, but just the pattern that the bamboo is making is really, really pretty. And it was, I think, around 20 bucks, so more than I'd like to spend. But I think for a styling moment, it's really great. And I think I was really like influenced by my like equestrian type of outfit today. I was feeling very Ralph Lauren with my like tailor jacket and my browns and stuff. And so I picked up a lot of brown things today, I think because I was in that like fall, you know, equestrian mindset. So yeah, this won't be available for you guys. I'm gonna use this in styling, but I thought it was really great. Speaking of horses or equestrian things, I also picked up this very beautiful original. I think it's like a charcoal or like a pastel piece of art. Sorry, the glare is catching it. I thought it was really great because of the matting. And it also has like the info on the back of who actually made this stunning piece. Anytime I have picked up something horse related in terms of art, it has always sold. So when I find a really good piece, I tend to get it. Yeah, I just think this is very cool. I also like the gold shimmery accent around the edge of the frame. It just makes that part really special. Sorry, no. Guess who's calling me? My mom. I just saw her shopping. So, okay. Sorry, mama. 
we are filming. <laughs> Anyways, uh, those are really great pieces. This will be available for you guys. So I also stopped at a cute little vintage shop that is new. It's only been there about six months. That's where I got this piece of art from for 10 bucks. And then I also got these cute little embroideries and needlepoint. So this I think was $8, which I thought was adorable. And then this one was 12. And I have sold the owl ones many times before and any type of dog embroidery always sells too. So I paid a little up for them, but frankly, I usually sell like these types of cruels for like 38 bucks. And I'll probably price this cutie pie around that same price. So definitely has margin. They're very easy to ship. They're lightweight and they pack really well. So that's why I usually pick them up anytime I see them. I feel like they're harder and harder to find, but I thought they were absolutely cute. So if you're in the area and you go to Aurora to shop, make sure you check out that vintage shop. It is a reseller who is kind of getting out of the business. And so the pricing is good. She's willing to make a deal for you. And so I was able to get a couple things that I can resell. So I did pick up a few colorful things. I got this really interesting glass bowl. I thought it was great. It actually has the information or rather the stamping on the bottom. So I want to start bringing more glass to my booth because I know you guys want it. The people who shop my booth and Etsy shop want it. So I'm going to start trying to pick up pieces for you. And then I also got this really cute folk art cross. I just, you know, you guys know I'm powerless against anything religious. If I am out shopping, and I don't pick up one cross Jesus or Mary statue. It's just like, am I even myself at this point? <laughs> because I seem to just find them everywhere and get excited about picking them up. So yeah, these, this will probably just for me, it ended up being, I think three bucks, but this will be available for you guys. And the last piece I picked up is this beautiful handmade box. I think it was 15. It has a really nice latch here. I love the detail. And then inside, has this the mirror surprise. Sorry, you're gonna see my very messy studio space right now. So yeah, I was very excited about this. You guys know boxes always do well for me, so I always pick them up. Um, so yeah, anytime I can find them for under 20 bucks, I usually get them. So the one thing that I got that I am not gonna show you because it's just a behemoth is they had oak like filing cabinet. And so I'm not gonna bring that up and show you guys. But I was very excited about that find. I probably should have bought the other one that was there, but at that point, I already knew I was going to be dropping like a couple hundred dollars. I'm like, oh, do I need this other thing too? It's kind of hard. I usually don't like to, ex to invest a ton of money in any one piece, but sometimes you need to do that to get the really big return. So I'm really excited about that oak piece because anytime I pick them up, you know, they sell for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. That one I'll probably list for around 500 if I had to guess, just because it is so heavy and bulky, it's going to be very expensive to ship. And then those pieces are just becoming rarer and rarer to find. So if you can find them, price them up. I, I would say sell them on Etsy because that's where people are looking for them rather than the booth setting. You have to wait for that person to come by and want to pay that higher dollar value. So that's just like my little tips on um, selling those pieces that there's always a buyer on Etsy for them. Okay, so that's everything that I picked up today. It was a great day out shopping. Like I said, I can't believe I found that wicker animal that I have been looking for forever. I am so excited about that. It's just the cutest thing. I feel like it needs a name. So you'll have to let me know down in the comments below what I should name my new snail that I have. It's just so cute. If you're looking for more thrifting and decorating content between my videos on YouTube, make sure you check me out on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Take care.